Hey, welcome back to B Music. I'm Marty, and today I'm back with another um, gear review. And this time I'm gonna test the TL Audio Ivory 2 series, the 5050, which is a mono valve and compressor. So it's a preamp with a built in compressor. And let's just start here um, with the features. Um, on the very left we have a instrument input where you can actually go into um, with the electric guitar or a bass ATI input. Here we have the um, input knob which goes up to 60 dB of gain. Um, we have a pad of negative 30 dB. We have the phantom um, power 48 volts and of course a low cut um, which is fixed at 90 Hz. Then the compressor section um, starts here with a threshold knob. Um, here we have the ratio, which goes up to 1 to um, 30, um, which is actually limiting. And here we have the attack and the release buttons. Um, when they are pressed, they are set to slow, and when they are in the out position to fast. Um, fast attack, for example, is 0 0.5 milliseconds, and um, slow attack is 20 milliseconds. And the release is from 40 milliseconds to 2 seconds. Um, then we have a hard knee um, button here again. When you press it, you have um, a soft knee and in the out position, a hard knee. Then a knob for the makeup gain and a compressor on and off button. On the very right, we have a um, knob for the output um, level and an on and off switch. Then we have also a gain reduction meter, which goes from 0 to negative 20 dB. Um, which is actually a clip indicator in red. Same goes here for the output level, negative 40 to plus 12 again with a clip indicator. So here is the back side of the unit, and here we have the power cord, and here we have the output TRS um, connector, and a line input, and a XLR mic input, and manufactured by Teal Audio in England. All right, so I would say let's test it out. I'm gonna use my um, trusty acoustic guitar for that, which is a Honor, has new strings on it. I'm gonna use a AKG C1000S microphone for this test and see how it sounds. All right, so let's grab the guitar. And of course, I'm gonna use headphones And let's check the mic level now. There we go. Seems to be a good level. Um, I've directed the microphone to between the 12th and the 15th thread, so pretty basic um, setup here. And let's hit a record and do something. So this was without compressor, and let's push it a little bit higher. So you can definitely hear a little bit of a saturation here. Let's turn it back again. And now let's engage the compressor and let's do a little bit of compression for now. Maybe around there, one to six or something like that. Um, let's test it with the hard knee setting first with a fast attack and a fast release. Let's push it up. There we go. I wouldn't compress that much for an acoustic guitar, so let's go maybe to a soft knee and a 
slow attack and a fast release. See how that works out. So that sounds very nice. Um, let's get to extreme setting here. Let's go into limiting here. 1 to 30 and threshold all the way up maybe fast attack and a fast release and a hard knee setting wow So as you can also see on the um, recording itself, there are hardly no ad any transients anymore. So this is a, a very, very um, high ratio. So let's turn it back again and use again a slow attack, soft knee setting, fast release and A little bit more. So let's also engage now the um, low cut and leave it kind of like that maybe a little bit more of input drive and a little bit less output nice um can hear the transients coming through um but not that much without the compressor Get on. Yeah, much better. So I would say let's do a little bit of finger picking how that performs there again without the compressor. with cool so I would say let's switch now to the DI and record a little bit of electric guitar and maybe also bass. Okay, so now let's go quickly through a little bit of DI electric guitar. And um, I just plug it straight into the instrument um, input. Um, don't have any low cut selected, input all the way down and the compressor off. And what I immediately noticed was that um, as the guitar has quite a lot of output with the humbuckers, I don't need much input gain. So, let's bring it up to a good level here. Seems quite nice. And let's hit record and play a little bit guitar.
Okay, and now let's check the compressor out. Let's go to a high ratio again here. Maybe hardeny. Um, let's take a slow attack first and a fast release. So we've got a gain reduction of negative six here. Let's take a fast attack. Yeah, here a lot of more compression. Goes up to negative 10. And now let's try soft knee. Should be a little bit more musical. Much better. Um, let's go a little bit into hard limiting here. Fast attack, fast release, hard knee. Wow, that's limiting quite a lot. A little bit of a makeup game. Kinda has this snappy sound. That you want from a DI. And let's go back to a better setting here. Like one to five ratio, um, slow attack, fast release, and soft knee. So we're compressing just a little bit maybe around negative two Nice. So, that's electric guitar DI. Let's switch to bass. All right, so back with the bass and um, just kind of leave it like the electric guitar and I'm gonna play a little tune. So let's see it to level. Seems quite good. So let's hit record. And just play without the compressor now. Let's engage it. Um, ratio is one to six. A um, little bit of a higher threshold. Um, slow attack, fast release, and hard me. So we compress quite much here, around negative eight. The makeup gain a little bit up there. Much better.
let's test a little bit of um, limiting fast attack fast release and a hard knee oh hard knee is on a little bit of makeup Hardly any transients. Let's go back. Soft knee, maybe. Um, let's try out fast attack and a slow release here. So let's see, we can get it a little distorted here. Let's turn the output down and the input up. There we go. Maybe a little bit less. There we have situation. kind of a little bit of a character to it and I think it sounds quite nice and yeah so that's the bass all right so last test is the vocal test um, even though I'm not the best singer I do it anyways um, just to show how this mic um, preamp sounds and especially the compressor and now I dialed in here a little bit of a, a input gain, reduced a little bit the output. Um, compressor is off for first. Um, we have the phantom power on, and I'm going to use a very very affordable 802020 for this test um, condenser microphone, of course. And yeah, so let's give it a try. Heavy head, brain stops to think. Wall smooth around. And bodies begin to sink Places not known Never been there before Sorrows I forget Appear soon for sure Is it you Hiding there And did you miss me can I have some more? He keeps me moving Down on the crown A little love for my mighty queen Alright, so this was just now the um, preamp itself and now let's engage a setting that I would probably use for a vocal um, let's engage a low cut here, which is 90 Hz in this case. Um, let's turn the comp on with the ratio of around 1 to 9 here. Um, a fast attack 
a slow release and a soft uh, knee here. You can also try hard knee and a little bit of a makeup gain. Heavy head, brain stops to think. Walls smooth around and bodies begin to sink. Places in the known, never been there before. Sorrows I forget, appear soon for sure. Is it you, hiding there? And did you miss me? Can I have some more? It keeps me moving down on the crown. A little love for my mighty queen. All right, so this was now with a kind of very normal setting. And let's get a little bit crazy here. Turn the ratio all the way up. It's going to hard knee, so compresses now as I speak. A little bit more of a makeup gain here. And let's also test out. Well, let's leave it like that and just see how that works. Heavy head, brain stops to think. Walls smooth around. And bodies begin to sink. Places unknown, never been there before. Sorrows I forget, appear soon for sure. Is it you hiding there? And did you miss me? Can I have some more? He keeps me moving down on the crown. A little love for my mighty queen. All right, so this was the test of the TLA Ivory 2 series, the 5050 um, Wolf preamp and compressor. Um, I think it's a really great unit. Um, all the knobs have a good um, feeling to them when you turn them. Um, it seems to be very sturdy. Um, it sounds great and it also looks good. Um, and yeah, so thumbs up for this um, piece of equipment. And um, please subscribe if you want to see more videos of me. And so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.